What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Tops Gypsy Queen Baseball just sold out, guys. This is a five-box half-case break. Three random teams each, number three. And again, guys, two autographs per box. Remember, no veteran common ship. Anything insert, rookies, short print, variation, autographs, relics. Everything else will ship but veteran base. All right, so here you go. Dice roller. Here's the cause brands. We tripled up your names. There's the teams. Let's dice roll it. Three to one, four times. Good luck. One, two, three, and four. Four times. Adrian down to Adrian. Four times. One, two, three, four. Giants down to the Oakland A's. All right, so uh, Adrian with the Giants, Lonnie with the D-backs, Twins, Yankees, Braves, Michael with the Angels, Adrian with the White Sox, Lonnie with the Royals, Padres, Michael with the Orioles, Lonnie with the Astros, Pirates, Rangers, Michael with the Cubs, Lonnie with the Mariners, Phillies, Yank, uh, Mets, Tigers. Michael Gallucci, you have the race. Adrian with the Nationals and Rockies. Lonnie with the Guardians, Michael with the Cardinals, Lonnie with the Reds, Michael with the Dodgers, Adrian with the Blue Jays, Lonnie with the Red Sox, Brewers, and Marlins, and Adrian with the Oakland A's. Alright, any trades, guys? Any trades? If not, I'll close it in about like 30 seconds. Nice, you got a 17, I guess, 16, 17? Excuse me. Okay. No trades. See, the one thing about the Oilers, man, is that even with McDavid, the Oilers are beatable. And that's the crazy part. McDavid's going to get points. He's going to get goals. But he's not going to win you every game. I mean, it's not on him to win you every game. Obviously, the, one of their biggest things has always been, like, goaltending. You know, and, and their defense minus, like, Nurse. You know, Duncan Keats a little bit on the older side now. But... You know the Oilers are always going to score goals and 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 give it a lot of assists, but it's like my Kings actually had a really good chance to beat them, and you know they didn't, but they could have beat them in that first series. Calgary is good though, man. If Calgary were to win Game Two and go up 2-0, hey Jason, I don't know if I see them come out. The phone like gets real low on on. On charging. Yeah, I think it's the block. What happened to a different block? I changed the block. Well, one of them, there was another block. I feel like the white one is not for the right wire. Yeah. Um, I would you get a better block probably. Maybe tell Nick or something. Or if there's another one laying around. But I think it's the block that makes it die really fast. Either that because what it is too is that I think it disconnects from the, 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 uh, what is like it called? The, the strip? The strip, and I feel like any little tick, any little, like, kick on it. Yeah, but it, it's showing that it's charged. Yeah. So even when I was on break, I shut the phone off. Uh-huh. And it didn't really get much higher, you know? Yeah. I think it might be the block, though, but, I mean...
Come on, stuck boxes, Jesus. You really don't want to come out, don't you? Sorry, guys. Wrestling with the boxes here. Alright, so five boxes to the left, five boxes to the right. Let's see what we can do again here. One, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this right here will be for the next case. Oh, that's right. I seen that, Steve. Congrats, first of all. Last time I checked, an impeccable box of that year is probably well over 2,000, I assume. I think 2021 impeccable was over 2,000, so you have to assume 1920 is. I don't know, Steve. Do you... Do you like ripping basketball? Do you collect basketball? Like, I mean, I know LeBron James, obviously, was your biggest hit, right? I mean, probably ever. My question is that, like, you know, obviously, if you can use the funds, sell it, right? Use that, turn that into a specific card, player you're chasing, or potentially, you know, use that into for some more breaks. But, if it's a box that you, you like, and maybe you probably wouldn't have the guts to buy a full box for yourself, why not, right? I have to assume that box is a couple thousand, if not more. 1920 is obviously John Morant, Zion here. I know you had Jordan Poole emerging in that year now, too. And I don't think Kobe's in that set, but I know Kobe, obviously, the last year he signed was in 1920, but I believe his last product was Prism, I want to say. So I don't think he would have made that cut. Yeah, that is true, Terry. It is free money no matter what, yeah. I just think of it like I know people have a hard decision, tough decision, because... It's a lot of money sometimes, right? But it's like, all right, well, if you'd rather have the money, then then sell it, you know? You shouldn't be upset with, you know, getting a couple thousand back, right, for a free giveaway. But my thing is I know a lot of us have the itch to rip anything we get, whether it's free or we buy. So it's like you're really never going to buy a box of that price. And when can you say that you ever – when are you going to be able to say again that you got that a box like that at that price for free? Alright, good luck guys. So I'll try my best obviously to catch any visible short prints. Framnail Reyes. To 199. JT Realmuto.
Got a lot of Dalton Varsho in this product so far. Lonnie with the Diamondbacks. That's like our third autograph of that dude. And I've only done two breaks so far. This is our third one. So he definitely must be a common autograph. No, that's what someone was telling me because I checked my first two boxes in personals the other day. And they were like, why are you checking for bazooka backs? There's none this year. So, I mean, I haven't checked. So, no to 50. That was like the first thing I did was like to check for bazooka backs, but. Someone's like, don't waste your time. <laughs> I was like, all right, then. I'm like, it's been a staple for like their products all these years. They're telling me they don't have it this year. Juan? Wonder Franco. Yeah, I do like that. I think I think Joe Pizzo's right though. I get the design though and why there's like a line going across, but I don't know, does the line kind of mess you up on the name or is it not really that big of a deal? I know for some people it's very technical, like oh I don't hate that. It's two fifty. <laughs> there you go, Steve. Yeah, so I think as Terry said, open it, man. You know, <laughs> have fun with it. Something you want as a little extra prize for buying here with us. So, you know, enjoy. Hopefully yours has the metal card. I believe the box that you're getting is coming from a fresh case too. So, hopefully if you have, if you don't have the metal card. Oh, nice. Smudge, uh, Cedric Mullins. If you don't have the metal card, obviously there could be a big... Big rookie autograph. To 50. That's for the Orioles. Cabrera. It looks like a red, actually, doesn't it? Out of five. There you go. Edward uh, Cabrera. From Miami out of five. Tejeda. This big computer is blocking the, the the TV, so I can't really hear it. I can't really see it, but I can hear it. I need to tell boss my mic to finally put this TV up on the wall. It just solves everybody's problems.
Alrighty, a couple more packs, guys, and then we'll start ripping through the second box. Like I said, this should pretty much bring me to about 9.45 or so, guys. We'll do the pack filler, and then we'll do the RMD, and then pretty much bring us to N2 first off the line. I don't know if it's a fresh case. I assume it is, but they do come in loose boxes a lot, too, so... I guess we'll find out. Clemente. Tim Anderson. No. Bruhan. No name sharper, and that is uh, Anthony Rendo. Wander Franco. Kyle Schwarber. Snow globe. Not snow globe, actually, sorry. Looking into the future. No name. Autograph. Mark Canha. For the Mets going to Lonnie. Fair child. I could, I could see that happening, man. I mean, I thought when I tuned in, same thing with Terry. We weren't paying attention, I guess, right? And second quarter, Dallas up by 20. I'm like, man, they're going to roll tonight. You know, they're shooting well, but somehow that Golden State Warriors team, man, is deep. They, they were able to get some stops and obviously make some, make some shots for themselves, but... I'm not doubting the Mavericks out just yet because they were down 2-0 against the, the Suns, too, and took it back home, and they won their two games. But if they lose one of their next two games and they go down 3-1 or 3-0, it's over. They, I think for them to really potentially come back is going to have to be like the Suns series where they come back and win their next two home games and tie it up. If somehow Golden State wins, it's over. One of those home games before coming back to San Francisco. And yeah, I mean, I, I feel like that Celtics series can go seven games, but I guess it just looks a little bit more uh, bad on, on the Heat because, you know, obviously they took advantage of Smart and Hal Horford not playing game one, right? 
and then they play the next game, and then all of a sudden they just destroy the, them by like, you know, 30, 20 plus points, whatever it was. It wasn't even a game after the second half, so it's like, I could see the Celtics rolling too. I know Laker fans don't want to see the Celtics win, so they're definitely going to be rooting for like the Warriors if they have to. Scored with one second left on the first penalty. So that means they're going to have another power play. Wow. They scored with two minutes and one seconds left. <laughs> so that means that they should have another power play. <laughs> oh, man. They got so lucky. They weren't doing squat in the first minute and 59 seconds. Dude, I mean, that's the crazy thing. Okay, Terry, right? This is what I was talking about with my Kings. And my Kings ended up winning game five, and they were up 3-2. At the end of game five, really, for them to come back and almost beat the Kings, they double-shifted McDavid with Dreisaitl, right? So it's like, they went desperation mode, and they were going to double-shift McDavid. So what, are they going to double-shift McDavid and Dreisaitl on the same line every game now? Like, obviously, throughout the playoffs, they'll probably do that. But that's what I'm saying. Like, what? They're going to do that for the rest of McDavid's career? Dude, McDavid's going to, at some point, going to gas out. I mean, he's only going to get older, right? So it's like, if you can just contain them for just a little bit, I mean, like I said, you won't be able to stop them from scoring goals, but that's the only line that's going to produce goals for them, basically. So it's like, you stop that line, then they have, they have no depth. So it's like, playoffs I get. <laughs> he's going to play like every... Every minute of the power play, he's going to play the whole playoffs, but, I mean, you, you can't do that forever. But, it looks fun though, right? I'm sure McDavid's up for the challenge, he's still only like 25, so he's probably like, hell yeah. Abraham Toro, wow, he's not on the... Astros no more. Seattle with that one. Newt Bar. Castro to one eighty nine. I didn't see it, but I think they were trying to review it to see who it was, right? Or they were trying to see if uh if it was like incidental or something. But I, I mean I guess if you high stick you high stick though. I guess it doesn't really matter if it was on purpose or not. Yeah. I don't know, man. Tampa Bay got really lucky yesterday and scored with like two seconds left, but man, like 
Tampa Bay's looking good right now, too. AJ, uh, Alexi. To 99. Jill. Yeah, because I, I don't know if I really want to see Tampa Bay be a three-peat. Because, you know, I don't know. I don't really agree with last year's playoff scenarios. Like, you had Montreal against Tampa Bay in the finals. You know, that team from the... Uh, not saying Montreal didn't have a great season, but, like, you know, kind of a weird year. But I guess it would be cool to see, like, a history of, like, a three-peat. I mean, I don't think there's been any three-peats in sports since, like... Uh, the Lakers, I believe. I think the Lakers were the last three-peat. And then in hockey, I don't think it's been since, like, the 80s. Either the Oilers or, like, the Islanders, I believe. But. I mean, it's really the Avalanches. I think it's really the Avalanches, like, cup to lose, right? I mean, they were, they're, like, the Lightning a couple years ago when they were like the number one team in their division and their league and then just got upset every single playoffs, you know? But St. Louis has played really well these two games and they finally picked up a win in Colorado yesterday, which now St. Louis has home eyes. St. Louis is just such that gritty, that gritty playoff team, man. They just play really well in the playoffs. They're built for the playoffs. That's what I'm saying, Terry. Yeah, that's exactly how the Bolts were. I mean, I remember when the Bolts got upset by uh, Columbus a few years back. It was embarrassing. But, and they got swept at that, too. But, yeah. So, it's like, until they win, it'd be nice to see them win. Because I know a lot of people are all up on them, too. But, I don't know. Yeah, Stan, I mean, if if they face the Lightning, the way the Lightning's playing, I mean, it's going to be a great series. I, I can't say for sure that they would even go to the Stanley Cup Finals because I'm sure Tampa Bay will have something to say about that. But, yeah, I, I would probably rather root for, like, Carolina to go to the Stanley Cup Finals over, like, the Bolts, like I was saying. And yeah, Calgary was a good playoff, a good regular season team, too. I mean, they got a little shaky series with Dallas, but they ended up still winning the series. Beautiful goal by... Johnny Hockey as well in overtime, but I think Calgary could take care of Edmonton. I don't think that's going to be their problem. I think it's going to be in the next round against either St. Louis or Colorado. But we'll see. I guess we'll figure it out once these once these uh, semifinal games are over with. And we'll go to the Western and Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah, Jake Ottinger had a great playoff series, man. That game... The goals that they scored on him, I mean, how could you stop that? Like, that Johnny Hockey goal in overtime was, like, amazing. It's like, it shouldn't have went in, first of all. So that's, like, a bad goal, but it's such a perfect shot. Like, Jake Ottinger not playing the way he did, they probably would have scored, like, a thousand goals. All right, here we go, guys. Fourth box. Yeah, nothing like hockey playoffs, guys. Something else. If you ever get to go to a hockey playoff game live, definitely do it. Such a fun experience. But watching it on TV is probably definitely one of the most exciting.
Gold, Freddie Freeman, Braves edition. Tyler Stevenson for the Reds. Bonalani. Yuli Juriel. Brandon Nemo. Wow, no way. Can't see what happened. Cal Rayleigh. Is that Kevin Smith? Yeah, Blue Jays, Kevin Smith for Adrian. Max Freed. That's right, Dan. Flag is fly, baby. Nice. Well, Steve, if you ever get too many, you definitely should. But any playoff series, obviously, in person is great, especially basketball. Yeah, they're talking uh, Eagles have enough salary cap room to trade for potentially that, uh, that Bengal. Oh, I forget his name. I think he's also safety or a DB. But, I mean, honestly, I think we've done more than enough this offseason to have a great team. A lot of holes last year, and we played pretty decent on the defensive side. So, I mean, I'm pretty pretty happy with what they've done anyways. Having a couple DBs, linebackers, and O-line will make up for the safeties, you know? So, it's like, I'm okay with that. They have solid linebackers now. Kaiser from the Chargers is going to be pretty good. He led their Chargers in tackles last year. You know, obviously, as long as the Kobe Dean's healthy, that dude is such a stud in college. Our D-line is strong. You know, we got good cornerbacks. As long as everybody can stay relatively healthy, I don't think safety is a big problem. I think he can. I think he can. He's a player though regardless has went through a lot of adversity and has, you know, really only got him better. Got him better, you know? Even from those Alabama days. You know. 
comes that back up one year, you know, comes in for Tua when he's injured, plays well, moves on to Oklahoma, has a Heisman type year. And obviously, really last year was his first full starting year. Not the most perfect, but stat wise, he played great. So I think he can. I mean, his arm strength is really the only question here. Obviously, decision making because he's still young, but. I think for the most part, he got better and better as the year went on. Obviously, the Eagles just weren't ready for a team like Tampa Bay. But, yeah. Uh, he's, I mean, obviously, coming into the offseason, everybody should be relatively healthy, right? You know. Should have your linebackers. Should have some O-line. Receivers shouldn't be a problem, right? No excuse. Tight end, Goddard's a beast. So, we should be good. Quez should have a good year, too. Quez, Brown, and Smith. I like that trio. Throwing Goddard in there. Sanders, Kenny Gangwell. We should be good, man. All right, last box. Sam Usel. JD Martinez. Ryan Jeffers. Minnesota Twins. Lonnie with that one. And Wander Franco. I right, no problem, Dad. Have a good night, man. Stay safe out there. No name short print. Seth Beer. Mm, beer. Last stack here. Good luck, guys. And a no-name rookie autograph of Greg Deitchman for the Chicago Cubs. Cubs is Michael Gallucci. Josiah Gray. Really, Steve, if you're interested in selling some of them, I wouldn't mind taking a look. I don't know if you have Instagram, but I can send you my uh, my uh, my email if you want. Send me some photos. I'm always looking for Devonte cards and occasional Jalen Hurts that I could afford. <laughs> You can always make some trades too, if you'd like. All 
All right, so there you go, guys. Yeah, Terry, well, honestly, they... <laughs> ESPN knows that they do not advertise hockey, but hockey is so popular that they just threw money at the NHL to get the exclusive rights, so... They're trying to build their hockey clientele, so they're just trying to say, like, look at this amazing guy. <laughs> you know? If you never heard of hockey, David. So, they're just trying to get some new fans that don't watch hockey, but watch ESPN to continue to watch hockey for them. That's the funny thing, is, like, it was hilarious that they actually got the rights to hockey when, like, they barely even talk about hockey at all. It's a joke. All right, guys. Well, there you go. That was the break. So we had a red out of five and some nice autographs. Second half should be in the store. If not, I'll post it up. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks, guys.